Hello friends, my name is Ramasu. Today we shall discuss about topic malware in computer. Friend, today's topic is very very interesting, especially if you have interest in uh, in basically security or based uh, softwares and you want to learn about it. So let's uh, start, friend. First of all, I would request to please subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the bell option as well, so that my new videos can reach to you. And also, you can follow me on the Facebook page as well. Friend, malware. Malware is basically when we talk about softwares and uh, malfunctioning uh, in the software. Software designed to interfere with the computer normal functioning. Malware is a basically a blanket term for viruses, trojans and other destructive computer programs, threat act actors used to infect systems. Basically friend whenever uh, computer systems are there and working. so basically we add uh, the basically uh, un uh, unethically add some codes some virus through which the normal functioning of computer becomes hanged or not working properly so that's basically that is called as uh, malware for example for example whenever you are opening a browser window uh, it's not opening for example internet is not working however the internet connection is working uh, available but it's not working uh, the USB is basically not deducting in a computer uh, some software is not opening properly so any problem in the normal functioning of computer due to the uh, unethical adding of the uh, code or software uh, in the computer due to which it's become malfunctioning that is called as the malware in a computer there are uh, basically malicious mean, uh, malware is a short form of malicious software malicious software means that any file or code which basically added through a network and it becomes the it basically malfunction the normal computer uh, normal functions of a computer normally if you are using internet normally it happens through the internet uh, through the network or through the USB drives basically the malware provide remote control for an attacker to use an infected machine spam from the infected machine investigate the infected users local uh, network and steal any proper any uh, very sensitive data of a customer so basically many purposes there are uh, through which the hackers basically add the malicious software in the computer so they have um, different objectives so now what are the uh, types of a malware or malicious software there are many types of normally nowadays available first one is the adware adware means that basically the advertisements which are running on the on the internet whenever you are uh, clicking on them or you are viewing on them so basically they unauthorized access the computer system and they disturb uh, they disturb the users functions as well then botnets botnets is a short form for robot networks basically these are the uh, again these are the softwares uh, uh, unauthorized software basically who are uh, running on the networks and basically the purpose of that to steal the information whatever the data is going through the network and unethically or illegally uh, accessing the data then uh, crypto uh, jacking crypto jacking is basically the process of using computer power to verify transactions uh, on a blockchain network and earning cryptocurrency for providing that service that happens when uh, cyber criminals hack into both business and personal computers laptops and mobile devices okay then next is the malvertising malvertising is basically uh, you can say malware plus advertising again same is there the advertisements which are running on the computer uh, on the internet basically it typically involve injecting malicious code or malware uh, advertisements into the uh, computer systems and networks and web pages through which they steal data through which they add any uh, file or code maliciously into the computer system so that they can steal the data they can get the information illegally or unauthorized from your computer systems then polymorphic malware uh, basically friend more morph regularly uh, altering the appearance of the code while retaining the algorithm within the alteration of the surface appearance of the software subverts 
and detection via traditional virus signatures. Next is the ransomware. It is a criminal uh, business model that uses malicious software to hold valuable files, data or information for ransom. Okay, for example, you get any particular, uh, for example, you hacked a YouTube channel of a person or for example, you hacked some, uh, any important file from a computer system and then you ask the person that give a money to him so that you can get back his uh, files and data then which is obviously illegal and unauthorized rootkits rootkit means the program that provide privileged access to a computer okay so that means any uh, access which is a super user access or administrative access they can get it spyware spyware means that uh, collects information about the usage of the infected computer and communicate it back to the attacker so that means the important information they are getting from the computer system and uh, it includes like botnets, adware, bo uh, backdoors, behavior, keyloggers, data theft and networms etc. Okay. Uh, then Trojan malware. Trojan malware means that it is basically the uh, historical name Trojan. Uh, malware dis uh, disguised in what appears to be legitimate software. Once activated, malware Trojans will conduct whatever action they have been programmed to carry out. For example, they get st uh, they shut down the system automatically. Uh, they open any browser automatically. So basically, it is a, uh, it is again a uh, software code software file which hidden in the computer system okay and and then you can uh, by using that software you can ask any illegal action okay or unauthorized access to the computer system warm malware it is basically self replicating the virus that exploit security vulnerabilities to automatically spread themselves across computer and networks unlike many viruses malware forms do not attach to existing programs or alter files they typically go unnoticed until replication reaches a scale that consumes significant system resources or network for example friend uh, on the c drive uh, it is basically for example any particular file it is replicating like uh, with the same name uh, it is replicating again and again and again so at some point of time the storage of the c drive will fill and obviously the operating system will crash on that so basically it is a, a replicating concept a replicating virus like it is replicating itself so that it can destroy the storage of the system st ram of the system rom of the system so basically it is a concept of a, a replication so that they uh, destroy the computer system uh, storage and ram rom etc so friend thank you thanks a lot for uh, watching the video i hope you like this video if you like it please share it with the friends and colleagues and thanks a lot for watching the video